Hey guys, probably won't be showing my face right now, but uh, I did want to show you guys. By the way, I'm watching Analyze or Alanize. I like him. Um, and up today, I'm going to be showing you guys the way I'm making frijoles. Um, unfortunately, I'll probably show you guys my face after, but it's because right now I still have to shower. Like, I'm trying to do all this shit. I look super ghetto. But so basically, what I do is let me show you. I'm gonna get some un plato and I'm gonna rinse these so some so what I do is I let them let me just show you guys this is how much I make for I'm gonna cover it all, all all the way over here but this is how much I make and yes I'm wearing the same shirt as yesterday um this is how much I make for for um us for a week because it is only the two of us well nathan too but he's not here this week so it's only like the two of us basically because nathan will only eat frijoles like once a week he's not really like into frijoles he likes rice more but um yeah so it's basically the both of us that eat eat it and then like if i make more te a perder. so i just learned to kind of calculate about this much this is how much I'm going to make and this is how much I usually make for us for a week. And then I'm going to come over here. And then what I like to do is basically, let me see. And then this is the way I rinse them. I just kind of let them, let the water go through the beans. And then dejo que se les salga el agua. And you, sometimes there's like basurita, see like that. That basurita, it, it'll like eventually come out. Um, oh, it's a bean, but... There's like basuritas around here that float, so they'll just like come out. My mom actually leaves like the frijoles overnight, but I don't because I'm lazy, but she just will leave it like this overnight. I don't know why, I think it'll like, it softens up the beans, and then so like it could cook faster, I'm not really sure, but um that's what she does i don't do that because i don't i don't know i don't have the patience for that so you can try that just leave them overnight like this with water rinse rinsing and then they'll probably come out softer i've never tried it actually but she, i always see her do that i always just make them like this And oh, I forgot to say that the type of beans that I use are peruano beans. These are the type of beans that Sergio likes. I don't necessarily have a favorite, um, but he is like strict with his beans. He's like bean boy, so yeah, he his favorite beans are are peruanos. So yeah, that's why I make peruanos. But you can use um, the same recipe with um, like. Pinto beans, it's the same thing. And then I just placed them in my olla. Again, you guys, I just, disclaimer, I just do want to say that I'm showing you guys the way I cook. Please don't start, like, telling me, oh my God, this is not the way to make them, this is not, because I'm fucking showing you the way I make them. I'm not asking for suggestions or I don't need you to tell me. I'm fine. I love the way I make my beans. Sergio's happy. Nathan's happy. I'm happy. So that's all that matters. Um, this is the way I make them again because I know I get in my recipes. A lot of people just feel the necessity to just comment like, oh, no, that's not the way you make it. Like, well, if I, it's my recipe. There's no right way of making something, you know. It's like I could easily be like, oh, well, the way that, the way that you're making it is not the right way, you know. And I just feel like everybody has a different way of cooking. So please respect that. Um, so, yeah. I just put water and I fill it all the way up. Okay, I think up to there is fine because I'm going to be adding an onion. So it's probably going to bring the water a little higher. And I'm going to be adding this much of onion. In here. I, I sometimes add um, garlic if I don't have onion. Or like right now I don't have garlic. So I just add onion so i just substitute them there's not really like a specific way you don't even have to add the onion um they'll still taste good without the onion just with agua y sal con frijoles de agua y sal mis padres me dieron crianza um but sometimes i add onion sometimes i don't even add anything i don't really mind i mean 
nobody even notices like the difference but if you do want to add onion it just adds a little bit more of a flavor to it like an aftertaste so after that i add my salt um and yes i add my salt right now a lot of people like to add the salt when they are boiling but i don't because i forget so i would just rather just add it now and I add them, I don't know, I just, one, two, three, like that, three, three voltitas. But I do cook it on, on medium to high, like yeah, I'll probably leave it here. And so, so I'll show you guys the way I, they look after I'm done, and then I'll show you guys how to guisarlos after. Hey guys, so before I forget to mention, you do, every time you see that the water's going down, you just add more. So right now, I am going to be adding more water. As you can see, it needs more. You do not want to let it dry out at all. Se te queman los frijoles, and then your whole house smells like frijoles. And it's like the nastiest smell. No se te quita el olor from your house for like days. So please do not burn your frijoles. Be very careful. Be watching them. Just keep adding water like when you see the water when you see that there's no like less and less water um I keep adding water and then if they're not ready and then once they're ready i'll just keep telling you what to do but basically just keep adding water if they're not ready so i ended up adding a little bit more water of course like i said once you see the water going down um you add more so i lowered i lowered the heat and I'm just going to let them cook by themselves. Now they're almost ready. A little bit more and I think they're done. But for the most part, I feel like ya cuando los ves que está, se están desbaratando poquito. That's how you know that they're almost ready. Of course, when you bite into them, they have to be soft. So I feel like you can just tell. Um, I feel like that's the only way I can tell you when they're ready. When they're soft. So they're almost ready. Like I feel like maybe 15 more minutes on low should do it but for the most part they are ready and yeah you guys that's it for frijoles and i'm gonna show you guys the way como los guiso okay guys so now my beans are officially done and now for the good part i am gonna show you guys como los guiso so you guys already know that for sure i'm gonna be using my coconut oil for everything i use coconut oil i don't mind the taste but if it just to let you know it most of them do have a taste unless it says on the thing um neutral flavor or something but other than that most of the coconut oils will have an aftertaste or a certain taste to it um i kind of we kind of just learn to like adjust to it we don't really mind it but um i like my mom and like if i give um people my my food or whatever they will say like they notice a difference in the taste so um and they can taste the coconut you can and you will be able to taste the coconut but if you guys want to use your regular oil that's completely fine too so i'm going to be showing you guys basically what i use this is coconut oil i am gonna turn on my olla and i use a olla that's kind of like um onda so that way i can put more because i like to kind of guisar as much as i can for like the whole like maybe two days this will last us like two days and because i don't want to keep going back in and guisando mas y mas so this probably lasts us like today and tomorrow and at the end tomorrow when they're done i'll just guisar mas so that's what i do so, i'm gonna open this up just put it and basically this is how much I put that's how much I put and you don't want to burn the oil so you want to make sure maybe at medium if you keep it at medium but watch it because it will burn um, and then once it's a little bit warm like maybe wait like a minute and 
Once it's a little bit warm, these are actually already tostados, but I still like to tostarlos a little, little bit more. Um, these come like this. This, These are the chile de arbol tostado, and I just buy them tostados because if not, they'll make like un, una pincho madera in mi casa. Like, it'll, everything will smell like chile. So, I to avoid that, I just buy them tostados, but um, I... I los tosto un poquito más just so it could give my frijoles a little bit more of like some flavor. So I do put them in for like two to three seconds really quickly, you know, and I leave them in there. And then after that, I put in my frijoles. So this is what I'm going to do. Um, I would recommend for you guys to put your frijoles as close as possible because this is ready already. I'm going to put in my chile. And, okay, the, the oil was not that hot, so I'm going to wait for it to get hot. And how I know that it wasn't that hot is because the chiles no, se, no les pasó nada. So, usually, they'll just start, like, um, se les hace bubble. They'll start, like, frying. So nothing happened to them, so I have a feeling that, okay, that's what they're supposed to be doing. Oh, shit. Okay. So, now that they're, like, jumping like that, I'm going to start putting in my frijoles. Be careful because he brinca, okay? So where he said about that much, a little bit more. About that much. And then you want to add juguito because you don't want them to be all dry. That's good. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait for this to boil. So now that they're boiling, I'm gonna go ahead and take my frijol thingy. I don't know what it's called to be honest, but I'm gonna begin smashing them. And you can find these like at Walmart, anywhere, literally almost like Target, anywhere. I think it's for the beans, like specifically for beans. I'm not sure. But us Mexicans, we definitely use this only for beans. Sergio likes them really smashed, but I, I usually don't mind if they're like this. I don't mind. I'm not picky, but Sergio, like, he's a bean boy, so he's really picky when it comes to beans. And then for dinner, I'm making um tilapia. Okay, guys, and I think that's it. This is the way you make frijoles. Now they're ready. This is the way I make my frijoles. Now they are ready and ready to eat. Yummy. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give me a like and turn on your post notifications. Also, um, please go ahead and follow my new Snapchat. Well, it's been there, but I'm going to be more active actually on my Classy Lady Snapchat. I'm not going to be active anymore on my personal one. Um, just because I was getting so much trouble on my username for like my... Um, I even tried changing it. I tried everything and it just was not working for a lot of people. So I was like, you know what, whatever, fuck this. And then plus, I do want to start engaging with... Everybody that buys or whoever has like a question from Classy Lady um, Boutique, I do want to answer on my um, business one. So I think I'm just going to put everything that I would put as myself um, on my personal one on my Classy Lady Boutique. Just so you guys can get to know me. And Well, I know you guys follow me obviously on YouTube, but just a little bit more personal, you know, more like um, intimate. 
But yeah, you guys, I think I'll just talk to you guys next time. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys try my recipes. I always get so happy when you guys send me. I always screenshot when you guys send me, like, your recipes that you make because of me. Like, follow my recipes. And that gets me so fucking excited. Um, thank you all so much. I'll talk to you guys next time.